Okay, so mum, you're about 200 metres back, you asked where we were. And I said the old London Road. Yeah. And right now we're under the gherkin. I'll flash a photo of the gherkin after I show you this. <laughs> You'll recognise the gherkin. I didn't look up. I know, because you dress like an Eskimo. You haven't looked up and realised that we're underneath the gherkin. Oh my goodness, the gherkin. Fascinating oh building, God. but I'll tell you something. Yeah, I'll tell you something a little bit more fascinating about it is, in 92, the IRA planted a bomb here and it blew up and it injured 91 people and it killed three people. Oh my goodness. So the building that was here was, was leveled. It was 800 million pounds worth of damage oh, and three lives lost. After three years, the British government decided that they'd rebuild it. Yeah. So they did some excavation work yeah. and lo and behold, they yeah. discovered a young Roman girl yeah. from the third century. Yeah. She was aged between 13 and 17, yeah. and uh, th they don't know if she was uh, a slave, a Roman citizen, or a visitor yeah. to the UK. They just know that she was Roman based on her DNA and okay. isotope studies in her teeth. Yeah. Yeah. And she was she was found. So yeah. they took her, they yeah. researched her, yeah. and then they brought her back. And, and underneath this laurel leaf that you're standing on, oh, underneath that laurel no. leaf, the young Roman girl, has been reinterred for us to remember forever. Oh, wonderful. Did they give her a name? Roman girl. Roman girl. Yeah, That's sorry to disappoint, name? but yeah, just Roman, Roman girl. Yeah, above the memorial to the Roman girl, it says a tree pierced right through by a bronze arrow. It's just by sheer chance that on the back of interfaith religious hatred and violence that we've seen throughout history, we've managed to uncover this young lady and, and we're able to remember her. Yeah, so as we continue down past the Gherkin, a little interesting piece of history, and this is uh, the site of the old London Wall. We're walking along it now. Not sure if I've included in my videos up to this point a brief overview of the Roman occupation of the United Kingdom and its construction of Londinium, but at some stage I will. And this is Mitre Square, I was just saying that we'll be here tomorrow night on the Jack the Ripper tour because although this right now is unrecognisable uh, given what it was in 1888, Jack the Ripper had committed a murder here. Yeah, on so top of the Romans building a wall that completely encompassed Londinium, they'd also built um, uh, well, Watling Street, which was 400, it was the main arterial road. It was 440 miles, 444 miles long and it ran through London from Dover heading all the way up to the Midlands. There's actually, there were, well, there's actually a cross section of walls that the Romans built. Yes. We were just walking on the A2, which is an old, Lond uh, an old Roman we didn't well. expect to stumble across this. We're very close to all gate, but what it was was they had different gates, and it's still you can see this in London with all gates, Bishop's Gate, Cripples Gate, New Gate, uh, all the all the gates travelling around the town. And at Bishop's Gate, they threw bodies outside the London Wall because you weren't allowed to bury people within the wall. Oh, here we are at all gate. You weren't allowed to bury people within the Londinium Wall. So they used to throw people just outside the gate. And a couple of years ago, some excavation was taking place when they found uh, about 17 people uh, buried just outside. And this it's is what it would have museum. looked like, or gate. This is what it would have looked like in 200 AD. Excavations happened in 1977-78 that revealed the cross-section. So the wall came down there at Allgate and it turns and heads in that direction. What I might do is, for these videos, is I might put up a screenshot of where the old Roman wall ran. Yeah. So there's the old Tower of London in all its majesty. We're up behind it and this here is the largest chunk remaining at the old London Wall. There are a lot of arrow loops in that curtain wall and rightly so they may need them because inside that building there is 30 billion dollars worth of crown jewels.
Oh, good morning, London, as we look outside the window. This morning, we're heading over to the Borough Markets, which is the oldest market in London. It's been going for over a millennium, although it's only been on its current site since 1851. It was adjacent to that. And in 1851, um, maybe 1853, it's been a while since I read it, uh, a group of locals raised enough funds to, to uh, purchase the land, and now it's run by a volunteer committee. Right across the Thames here, is a place called Butler's Wharf. And that's been a major port in London since uh, before medieval times. And it's a great one heritage listed building. And right here is St. Catherine's Docks. Now, if you travel through there and head out behind the building we're in, there's a harbour and there's quite a few boats held in there. St. Catherine's Docks was named after that because there used to be a hospital on that site called St. Catherine, which was built there in the 1200s, so 13th century. But that's not the oldest hospital in London. The oldest hospital in London is St. Bartholomew's, which was built in 1123 under Henry I. And it's over near the Old Bailey, close to St. Paul's Cathedral. We'll go past it um, tomorrow, I believe, we'll be going in that direction. But meanwhile, we're heading off to the borough markets for breakfast. Train heading over the borough market. Well, borough markets were good. We've got some good food platters for Christmas lunch tomorrow. Um, and as we leave, we're walking across the Thames and we're walking across the London Bridge. And everybody seems to think that London Bridge, well, not everybody, but a lot of people seem to think that London Bridge is the big, glorious bridge in front of the Tower of London, which is off in the background there. That is not London Bridge, that's Tower Bridge. This is London Bridge, and it's not that old. It's only 50 years old. It was finished in 1973. But before that, for 600 years, there was a medieval bridge here. I'll flash a photo of it now. Oh. Thank you, Photoshop. Um, and this one here, well, and then preceding the 600-year-old, the one that was built in the 13th century, lasting until the 19th century, before that was the Timber Bridge. But the interesting thing about that, that was built by the Romans, but the interesting thing about the, the London Bridge that stood here for 600 years is that it had 400 shops on it. It was just, it was like a market, um, which kind of fed straight down to the borough market. So I guess... When you're right in the heart of London, on the Thames, there's got to be a lot of trade going on. So, as we walk across the London Bridge, quite interestingly, we're both in that mudlarking page, yeah. where you go mudlarking on the Thames, looking for old Roman remains, and here are a couple of people doing it as we speak. People find Pe stuff all the time. Oh, pipes, coins, yeah. all sorts.